Hey, it's Jason. I'm back with another video. So, 20 some years ago, uh, let's see, more like 25 years ago? Criminy sakes almighty. I was at the comic store with my friend and we found some box of clearance collectible card games. And this Hyborian Gates was one of them. I, <laughs> so we picked up a box of it for dirt cheap. We never opened it. I sold most of them on eBay for probably about what I paid. I got the shrink wrap off one of them accidentally, and so I didn't sell it, but I've never really opened it. So I thought, what the heck, let's have a blast from the past, take a look at a failed card game from the mid-90s, and see what's inside this box, because I literally have no idea. So the first thing I noticed after I took off the shrink wrap, there's weird things. There's, um, well... There's cards. There's an instruction book. Hyborian, Hyborian Gates. A world without limits meets heroes without equals. This actually sounds like it has kind of a cool premise. I'll let someone else read that and get back to me. We've got some kind of punch out cards. You know, I'm guessing that might be why this failed because the punch out cards or it just failed because its name wasn't Magic the Gathering. That's a lot more likely. Okay. Featuring images by well-known fantasy artist. Hey, cool. Well, you know, that's not bad. We have some real artists. Okay, each starter each starter pack includes two randomly sorted 55. Oh, so these were random. That's cool. Limited edition boosters. We are on limited edition. You can't read upside down. Limited edition. Okay, let's pop these guys open and see what these cards look like. Um, We'll just kind of flip through these fast. Well, we start with art that we know Wizards of the Coast would not allow on modern magic cards, so they've got that going for them. Holy cow. What's the, what's the back look like? Um, is it all the same? Yeah, okay. Let's just flip through these, see some cool art. I'm not even going to try to attempt to make any sense out of what I'm looking at, though. But who doesn't like awesome Boris fantasy art, huh? Man. Huh. So we've got a little bit of fantasy and a little bit of sci-fi. It does kind of remind you of heavy metal. You know, I've got two decks. Maybe I should actually figure out how to play this. So I can talk my nine-year-old, well, maybe I don't want my nine-year-old having anything to do with this yet. I see a duplicate card. Okay, well, I guess if they're random, oh, well, that guy, the Leviathan of Taz. Taz, like, ECW champion, former ECW champion, it was the 90s. Okay, got an upside down one. Okay, we've got some duplicates. Cool. Now let's look at the other one real quick and just take a minute. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we've got... Oh, that looks cool, too. Okay, you know what? I think I should learn how to play this. I got two decks. Do a little demo of it. Why not? Blast from the Past. There were so many card games in the 90s that just tried to start and just couldn't do it. You know, I, I just sold my Spellfire and cards on eBay. I just sold my Blood Wars cards. I'm holding on to my Illuminati New World Order cards because they're just too cool to sell. Again, you just could not get away with this kind of art at Wizards of the Coast these days. Ha! Wow, that guy is cool looking. Minor Black Grunnel. Hmm. A Hyborian Trooper. Huh. 
I don't even know what company released this. Cards? Well, okay. Well, that's it. That's what's in the box. Leave me a comment if you would like me to go into some detail on how to play this game. I'm sure I could set some side time aside to try to make sense out of this straight text novel here. Wow, that is insane. Show some pictures, crime any sakes. Okay, that's it. Ha, this was kind of fun. I'll be back next week, so be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.